he is a powerful machine. Like we say, he is the train, he is the bison. Michael Essien was a force of nature in his prime, and much like N'Golo Kante, he would have to search far and wide for someone who didn't like him. But unfortunately, like many other greats, injuries prevented him from having the legacy his talents deserved. Growing up in Accra, Ghana, Michael Essien was able to catch the odd Premier League match on TV, and there was one player in particular that caught his attention. I wanted to be like Roy Keane, you know, he was one of my heroes, and I like the way he he goes into tacos. With the spirit of Roy Keane and the talent to match, there came a time when the young Ghanaian could have donned a Manchester United jersey. After the World Cup under 17 in New Zealand, then I had the chance to, to go to Man U for trials. I was good and everything, but you know, work permit let me down. I couldn't get one work permit to, to play in England, so I went to Bastia. At Bastia, he became a utility man, playing all across the back line and in midfield. But as his playing time increased, it was clear he was made to be a box-to-box -box midfielder. His relentless running and tenacity in the middle of the park prompted French champions Lyon to spend 11.7 million euros on him. He excelled at Lyon alongside Brazilian playmaker Juninho, picking up two Ligue 1 titles. He was even named Ligue 1 Player of the Year in 2005 and finished 22nd in voting for the FIFA World Player of the Year. No surprise, the big club circled, but one man was desperate to get him. Despite coming off a Premier League title, Chelsea boss Jose Mourinho wasn't content with his midfield. With Frank Lampard as the sword and Claude Makélélé as the shield, Essien was the perfect warrior to get the best out of both of them. As a player, he was ready for everything. He was ready to die for uh, uh, the fellow player, for the club, for the manager. 38 million euros was spent on him, a club record at the time. Straight into the team, he provided the power and tenacity that gave Chelsea the edge they needed to secure a successive league title. The success was the springboard for Essien's best years at Stamford Bridge, and the 2006-07 season was an even better year for Essien personally. A key factor in his success was his relationship with Jose Mourinho. He was not my player, he is my son. You know, I'm, I'm his white daddy. And that's the feeling, he's more than, he's more than, than a player for me. He had moved alongside Lampard and skipper John Terry as guaranteed starters for Mourinho. And despite losing out on the third consecutive league title to Manchester United, Essien shone for the Blues. In a season in which Drogba scored 33 goals and the defence was once again the division's best, he was voted the club's player of the year. The player, that I, I was just thinking then to be fair, a player that played at a Premier League, a top Premier League side that probably didn't get the plaudits of the other. Someone like an Essien at Chelsea in that first two or three years. The sort of, the, the, the impact he had on that team just from his running ability, the energy from midfield, balancing off against obviously Frank, who was obviously going forward into the box. I thought Essien was a brilliant player in that first couple of years. Like Roy Keane, subtlety was not Essien's specialty, but that's not to say he was lacking in terms of technique. His crunch time heat seeker against Arsenal in 2006, and his left foot volley against Barcelona three years later, are proof of that. Lampard looking to pull it back, and Essien! It's a fantastic start for Chelsea! The Chelsea and Mourinho project was on shaky ground, and following an uninspiring start to the following season, he was fired. But Essien continued to play his role as a foot soldier under Avram Grant. In the 2008 Champions League final, having created the goal that brought Chelsea level, the Ghanaian turned down the chance to take a penalty in the shootout. This is because his mum had fainted when watching him take one for Lyon, and was rushed to the hospital, after which he told her he wouldn't take one again. United won the trophy that night after misses from John Terry and Nicholas Anelka. It was a period when circumstance kept conspiring against Essien. With the arrival of Michael Balak and the fading of Makalele, he was deployed more and more in a deeper role, a disciplined position which required him to suppress his instincts. Then, a month into the 2008-09 season, with Deco's arrival having amped up competition for places another notch, the first knee injury came, and as they say, nothing was the same. His knees couldn't keep up with him, and the man referred to as the Bison due to his physical presence had his career decline earlier than it should have. In the end, he led his country to their first two World Cups. He won the Champions League, the Premier League, Ligue 1, and many more trophies, and for a period, was the most dominant midfielder in England.